I'm Greg Nibbler and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Comcast walks away from their mega deal, a super secure cell phone, and the Chinese genetically modify human embryos. It was a deal that, quite frankly, scared a lot of people, both consumers in general and those in tech circles. It was the Comcast Time Warner Cable merger, a $45 billion deal that just turned to vapor. Word came yesterday from Bloomberg that the deal was officially off, and Comcast CEO Brian Roberts chimed in a short time later to confirm the end had come. Today, we move on, he said in a statement. If it had gone through, the deal would have put over 55% of cable viewers in Comcast's pocket, a figure that raised the hackles of both the FCC chief Tom Wheeler and U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder. Both said they were happy to see the deal collapse. Data security is always a hot topic, and it seems mobile phones are the latest frontier for both hackers and those fighting them. What to do? How about trying this allegedly super secure device called the Turing Phone? Even the name sounds serious. The Turing Phone runs a modified version of Android, and for about 900 bucks comes with 128 gigs of memory, a 5.5 inch HD screen, 13 megapixel main camera, and an eight megapixel selfie cam. Best of all, it's made out of something called liquid morphium, an alloy that maker Turing Robotic Industries claims is stronger than titanium. Well, it all sounds cool at least. We hope to test one out when it gets released. Remember the movie Gattaca from the 1990s? In that seminal sci-fi drama, a genetically inferior man tries to realize his lofty dreams in a society sharply divided by genetic haves and have-nots. In the movie, the genetic divide comes about because doctors can manipulate the genetics in embryos. And now comes news from China that scientists there have done just that. According to the publication Protein and Cell, the scientists used a method called CRISPR to successfully correct certain unwanted genetic traits in numerous human embryos. It's still a highly experimental procedure and none of the embryos is going to term. It's a major step forward for genetic manipulation of humans, and of course, the moral and ethical questions are enormous. Get more details on the story and join the conversation at the link below. And maybe rewatch Gattaca this weekend. That's it for DT Daily. We'll see you next week.